Today I'm going to be giving a speech in honor of Harrison Ford. We are talking about somebody that has been in 50 plus movies. We've seen him on the news, we've seen him on the movie screen, and we've seen him on the red carpet. Harrison Ford is a man known of many achievements and today we'll be recognizing those for three main points. First off, what he's contributed to society. Secondly, his character and how he's been a role model to many generations. And lastly, the boundaries he's pushed through to achieve great success. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is how he's contributed to, how he's contributed to society. Every year he gives to underprivileged children by giving them plane rides. This is from LookToTheStars.org, which is an organization that's nonprofit, and its main purpose is to look at how um, stars and other celebrities have given back to society. So in excess of 300 kids, he's given them rides in his own personal plane for children that are either don't have enough money or they're terminally ill and they don't have enough time to schedule a normal plane ride, so he gives them a ride with them in his co-pilot seat. Now, having a lot of money, he's able to do this quite often, and um, for the past few decades, he's been doing this to as many children as he can. This is just one of his many accomplishments. The second one I'd like to talk about is how he uses his helicopter. Now, it may not seem like using a helicopter is all that charitable, but what he do does with it is, there is a very large river near his home, and what he does is he monitors it on his helicopter to look for people polluting. Now, this can be anybody dumping trash in the river, or a major company that's um, putting waste right into the river. But what he does is he monitors that river um, fairly often every week, and he makes sure that and he makes sure that if there's anybody putting anything wrong into the river, that he alerts the proper authorities and he gets the problem solved. So, as of now, with him being with him getting old in age, he takes a lot of his time to help other people. As we talked about first, he takes a lot of time um, to help disadvantaged kids. And on the other hand, he also helps the environment by making sure people don't dump polluted stuff into the river. The next thing I'd like to talk about is how he's a role model. Now, many of you in the audience and people that are watching both know that he's been in some major movies. The Indiana Jones series, along with Star Wars, are some of the most major films that he's been in. But beyond that, he's been in 50 plus movies, some of them um, really too many to count. So first off, starting with Indiana Jones from the Guardian dot um, from The Guardian, which is an international news organization, they stated that many children have been influenced by Indiana Jones and the character that he portrays, along with just Harrison Ford's charisma. In Indiana Jones, he's a Western-type hero that saves the day when it comes to uh, the Ark of the Covenant or aliens or really anything that happens. But this movie series has been going on for a long time, and because of that, Anyone as old as my dad to uh, kids that are younger than me have not only heard of him, but they've watched these movies. And because of that, he's influenced many young children, um, men as well as girls, and taught them really how to act and how to be a hero and how to carry themselves properly. Now the next movie, and one that just came out this winter, which is Star Wars, now on its seventh, um, seventh uh, conception, since then, he has been in almost every single one of those movies, and again, not necessarily the hero that we think of, but at the end of the movie, when he finally comes around, he really does become a true hero. Um, he helps everybody out, and he comes out of his shell, and again, he's just being a role model that everybody thinks of him as. So, as we can see, through all the movies that he's been in, he has really become a role model for every generation that he's touched. Now, the third point I'd like to talk about is own, his own personal boundaries and the tough time that he's had and why he's being honored today. Harrison Ford, since his youth, has always had clinical depression. Now, he's always had a tough time, especially in middle school and elementary school, coming out of his shell, and he always had a rough go of it. But when he was a lot younger, he took the first step and he got into what was called a drama class, and from there, his acting career exploded. He tried his hardest to push past that boundary, and as DisabledWorld.com said, which is an um, organization that looks at uh, people that are disabled, especially celebrities, and tries to give hope to other people who are disabled and give them courage and encourage them and show that it's still possible to be successful even if you are disabled. What we can see from this website is Harrison Ford has completed many achievements. He, he's an A-list actor. 50 plus movies, as I said before, and he's all done this with clinical depression, and at some points he was almost diagnosed with bipolarism. Now, even with both of these um, 
even with both of these issues that he's had, he's still been a great actor. He's pushed past that, and he's given back to society through charity and looking out for the environment. So in conclusion from our three points, we can see that first off, he's charitable. He looks out for everyone else before himself and makes sure that not only kids, but the environment and really everybody that he touches is in good condition. Secondly, he's a role model through all the movies he's been in, 50 plus of them, especially Indiana Jones and the Star Wars series. In all of those movies, he's portrayed a hero and because of that, he's been a great role model. And lastly, we have to look at his own boundaries. Even though he's been disa mentally disabled through clinical depression as well as bipolarism, he's still been able to achieve at a high level and become an A-list actor as well as helping everyone that he's been around. For all these three reasons, that is why Harrison Ford deserves this honor today. Thank you.